is a demonstrational video for an external keyboard that is usually sold with Flytouch or Zenithink on Fabobi.com um, that you can basically utilize if you take a lot of notes or if you do Gmails, it's very convenient to use. Um, so it's uh, made of artificial leather and it has, in the back, it has this kickstand which you can just pull out in order to scan your tablet. So I'm just gonna flip it around for you and it opens up, this is a magnetic strip, very easy. So you just open it and you scan it up like this. Then I'm going to get my tablet and just insert the tablet into here very easily slides in. Okay, um, now what it has is this USB basically attached to the external keyboard. So what you do is you just plug it into your tablet in order to connect it. So you won't hear any sound, but it just connected. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm just gonna go into Dolphin Browser and I'm using Flytouch right now. And I'm just going to zoom in here for you so you can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna type in some letters as you can see up there. That's perfectly fine and I'm not using, I'm not using my touch screen. So it's a very convenient keyboard and here's what it looks like. One of the common issues with um, the external keyboard that you get from any website is its compatibility with Flytouch, um, certain models, for example. If you are unable to use the shift key on your keyboard, an easy fix for that would be to install a Swift key keyboard from the Android market. And for the purposes of time, I'm not gonna go ahead and install it, but once you install the Swift key keyboard on the Android market, what you're gonna need to do is you go into settings and you find where it says language and keyboard. You click on that and you're going to have something that says Swift key keyboard on here. And actually I have a trial version already installed. So you just need to make sure that check mark is in place. Then you go to any place where you can type something in. So I'll just go to browser. What I'm gonna do is on this text field, I'm gonna long press it. And that brings up a menu that says input method. So I'm just going to go ahead and select Swift key trial right here. So then if you click on that again, um, it just says basically if you wanna register, if you wanna purchase it, or if you wanna do it later. As you can see now, the keyboard has changed. And if you have previously had shift key issues, now those issues are corrected. Um, please let us know if you have any questions. Always remember to rate and subscribe. And also remember to always have a great day.